always find your way to higher ground. Hello and welcome back to my channel after an unexpectedly long hiatus, but I am back. I have been just running kids around everywhere and I went up to visit my family in New York, which was always so nice. I love the weather up there and just being able to spend time with my family. My mom and I, of course, hit up some antiquing vintage thrift shops. We specifically went to this one um, antique mall by her that I just absolutely love. It is huge. I think we were there for two hours and there's this little cafe inside which is perfect because you definitely get hungry and thirsty throughout the travels. So I'm going to show you a haul of everything that I got and then decorate with those items. I love these videos and I hope that you all do as well. Next week we are redoing my front porch for spring and I mean literally redoing it. We're taking out the chairs, adding new chairs. I'm so excited for that. So make sure you are subscribed if you are not already and let's get started with this video. Okay, so I took a little footage from my favorite booths at the antique mall and this one is just stunning. I would love to one day when my kids are older and I have more time to open my own booth and this one is just such an inspiration. If it was closer to my house, I would have been in such trouble because I loved so many things in here. They had a ton of unique vessels and furniture. It's definitely more of a boutique store vibe rather than the typical vintage finds, but that's why I love going to antique malls because you can find a little bit of everything. I also love taking pictures and videos of displays that inspire me and give me some new ideas to decorate in my own house. I really loved this reclaimed wood candle holder. There was just so much inspiration going on in this booth. I have been on the hunt for a house-shaped copper cake pan, so when I saw this pile here, I got so hopeful. I've been looking for this for almost a year now, and I can't remember where I saw my inspiration picture. I think it was Pinterest, but I can't find it anywhere, and I've looked for so long for one of these, and I am so determined to find one. And I had to show you guys this door frame display. I I mean, how much more cottagey can you get than this stunning basket archway with the dried hydrangeas? I absolutely loved this. This would also give me the perfect excuse to keep hoarding baskets, so I need to find somewhere that I can recreate this in my house. We almost bought this beautiful set of corbels, but they were mislabeled. We thought they were $5 each, but when we got to check out, we were told they were actually $40, but I just love corbels. There's so many different ways you can use them, and this set was just so unique and pretty. Okay, so even though there was so much more I would have bought if I didn't have to transfer things from New York to Florida, I was still able to find some things that fit into my suitcase. And one thing that I was probably the most excited about is this um, candle wall sconce. I've been looking for just a very unique one of these, and this one is wrought iron. It's very just unique and pretty, and I love how these look on my wall. I have one right now on just this awkward little wall in between two doors in my house, and I think it's just the perfect touch. So I've been looking for something like this for a while to put on a wall that I have not been able to figure out exactly how I wanna use. And if you've been here a while, you've seen me change out this wall countless times. So today we're gonna see how this looks there. I think it'll look really nice with some candles and 
Hopefully this will be the look that I've been going for. The only negative about the antique mall we went to is they took off the prices as they were checking me out. So I don't remember the exact price of these items, but I just loved this cake mold. I think it's a cake mold, but it is so pretty. I don't know if I'll be hanging this up or adding it to my kitchen yet. I like to bring out all of my copper and brass stuff and display them fall winter time so I think this might be a fun thing to incorporate especially for fall and I'm not sure if I should hang it above my stove or just kind of decorate it on an open shelf or incorporate it throughout my kitchen but either way I thought this was a really fun and unique piece and the next thing I found was this really adorable nest and you can find these at most craft stores but I thought this one was just so unique with a little touches of moss and I like how the nest itself is made out of straw and jute and just different materials. I thought it just was really unique and I really like the size and it's always fun when you can find something related to the season so I'm excited to display this for spring. And these next two I just needed. They're these really cute wrought iron buddies. Looks like a little mom and baby and I thought these would be so much fun to display not only for spring but because we have a pet rabbit that we're obsessed with. I thought these would just be fun to either put on corresponding shelves or just kind of decorate next to each other. So these were just too cute to pass up. I love finding unique pieces that are kind of personal to you. Things like that just make your home feel like it's yours and just a little bit more personal. And the last thing I grabbed was this really cute paperweight. I thought it was really unique and would look so pretty on top of a stack of books. Again, this is just something that you don't see everywhere and it's just gonna add a little unique touch to your space. Okay, so now we are going to decorate with all of these. This is obviously my favorite part. I love collecting the items, but I love styling them in my home even more. I was very inspired to pick up some hydrangeas for my kitchen, especially after seeing that gorgeous display at the antique mall. I've never tried to keep real hydrangeas inside or outside for that matter before, and I do not have a green thumb, but we are going to give it a shot. I'm repotting them in this planter that I found at Home Goods last year and I was so lucky that they transferred really easily and they were the perfect fit for this planter. And as most of you know, we also have a pet bunny who free roams around the house and I saw this pet grass and figured we could plant it in one of my wooden planters so he could try some grass. I have no idea if he's going to like this or not or if he's even tried grass before. So this will be a fun enrichment for him and we'll see later in the video how he feels about it. And a huge thank you to Waterdrop, who is today's sponsor. I have heard so many good things about their water filtration systems, so let's go ahead and check out the one I got. Waterdrop is one of the leaders in water filtration appliances, and they specialize in providing efficient water purifiers, providing safe and pure drinking water for you and your family. I have here the compact electric water filter pitcher, which is designed to fit conveniently right on the fridge door. Having access to pure clean water in the house is so important to me personally and especially as a mom. I'm constantly filling water bottles for school, for sports games, and just general food preparation in my kitchen. It's giving me such peace of mind that this is filtering out impurities in our water such as chlorine, mercury, lead, and the list goes on. I love that I don't have to lift this whole thing out of the fridge to get water. They make it so easy with the one key control that dispenses water in just one second and even with this being the compact size it still holds 14 cups of water this little filter is designed to last for 200 gallons or three months depending which comes first and it has an impressive 30-day battery life which not only saves time but conserves energy as well what I'm really looking forward to is the reduction of need to buy plastic water bottles the money I will save the mess that it will save me 
from cleaning up water bottles throughout my house and also just using less plastic in general it's a win-win so if you are interested in making a purchase or just want to do some more research on water filtration systems I highly encourage you to check out the water drop website that I will have linked in my description box down below there will also be a special 10% off exclusive discount for my viewers I highly encourage you to head over and find which water filtration system works best for you and your family. Thank you so much to Waterdrop for sponsoring today's video. Okay, what are we thinking of the hydrangeas? The first thing that I noticed is that I haven't had anything this tall here probably since my big three-tiered tray era. I just haven't been using that lately and I love just trying to come up with new ways to decorate. I love to think outside of the box and try new things and this is just really fun. I think it's screaming spring. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep these going but I definitely think I'll be able to keep them alive longer than the pre-cut ones that you put in a vase. So I will keep you updated but I love how this looks. I think I got so lucky that it fit perfectly in this little vessel here and yeah i love the color i love hydrangeas and i would love to see if i could figure out how to dry these out so i'm gonna look into that too there are so many ways to incorporate these little nests throughout your home i like to set them next to plants i've added them to pottery in my kitchen before but this year i wanted to try something new and add this to my faux tree in my living room my daughter absolutely loves this and i think it gives such a nice pop of spring to this space So if this was the ever-changing wall you thought of, then you were correct. I have changed this wall up so many times and nothing that I've put here yet has stuck. But I think this time I might have a winner. You'll have to let me know what you think when I get it all set up. All right, so I think I have it where I wanted. I raised it a little bit. And the method to my madness here is you can see there's a little candle sconce on that small part of the wall around the corner. And I wanted them to be somewhat level. So when the candles are on, it just looks uniform, especially if you're standing at this angle. I didn't want them to be at like mismatched heights. So now I need to go get some batteries for my candles and we'll see how it looks when it's on and all lit up. And I will link my favorite faux tapered candles in my description box. I have bought so many packs of these and use them all over my house. I think they are so realistic and give such a cozy glow and let me use all of my favorite candle holders in a safe way. Looking at this, I decided that the gap between the table and candle holder needed something. So I grabbed one of my favorite white platters and I'm going to use command strips to hang it on the wall and fill in that empty space. I am so pleased with how this turned out. I almost did not get this candle sconce at the antique mall, but I am so, so glad that I did. Let me know what you think of this wall's newest look. I'm putting the little bunnies here on this table for now, but I will most likely keep them on either my office shelves or maybe here in the living room. We'll have to see. Thank you. 
and this I or not was so different and cool I just had to have it it looks so good on top of a stack of books and it's little details like this that really make your space unique Okay, now is the moment of truth. I chose this tall planter because I knew he would dig in the dirt if he could reach it, and I didn't really want the mess. Plus, I figured we could just keep growing this for him if he likes it. I did have to show him what it was, but once he got a taste of it, he absolutely went crazy for this grass and ate it almost down to the root. And since I filmed this video, we've kept the planter on the front porch and it's been growing back quickly. So we'll be able to rotate this back inside to enjoy when it's ready. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I will see you back here for my spring front porch makeover and I hope you all have an amazing day.